Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture which is the fourth part of cyclicity of unit digit. We have already completed three parts of this particular topic in which we obtained the cyclicity from 1 to 7. So we already know all the basics of cyclicity and it will not be difficult for us to find out cyclicity of 8 and cyclicity of 9. So this is the last part of this topic in which we will find out cyclicity of number 8 and cyclicity of number 9. We already know to obtain the cyclicity, we simply go on increasing the power to obtain some pattern at the unit place. For example, in cyclicity of 8, we first obtained 8 raised to power 1 which is 8 itself then we obtained 8 raised to power 2 which is 64 and then we go on increasing to 8 raised to power 8 which is this number and uh, we did this to obtain some pattern at the unit place on the other hand in case of cyclicity of 9 we obtained the pattern when we reached 9 raised to power 4 so there is no need to go up to 9 raised to power 8 when obtaining the cyclicity of 9 so it all depends on the pattern at the unit place if you get the pattern early you have to stop the calculations so let's start with the cyclicity of 8 you can see at the unit place we have 8 4 2 6 and again we have 8 4 2 and 6 so after every four intervals 8 4 2 and 6 are repeated therefore cycle of 8 is having four digits 8 4 2 and 6 I will write this down cycle of 8 is having four digits and they are 8 4 2 and 6 you have to remember this now let's solve one example to understand this in much better way in this example, we have to find out the digit at unit place of the number 18 raised to power 19. The number is 18 and the power is 19 and we need to find out the digit at the unit place. We learn cyclicity only to obtain the digit at the unit place for the numbers having the large powers. And I have already told you the digit at unit place will not depend on this number 1 here because it is at tens place. It will only depend on the digit at unit place. So 8 raised to power 19 will have the same unit digit as 18 raised to power 19. I have already proved this in the first part of cyclicity of unit digit. So we will obtain the digit at unit place of 8 raised to power 19. There are 4 digits in the cycle of 8. And because of this we will divide 19 by 4. We will divide 19 by 4 and uh, this will give us remainder equal to 3 and when remainder is equal to 3 this means 2 will be there at the unit place. So 8 raised to power 19 will have 2 at the unit place and this implies 18 raised to power 19 will also have 2 at the unit place. So this is the answer and this is the way to find out the digit at the unit place. Now we will discuss the cyclicity of 9. You can see the pattern at the unit place. First we have 9 then we got 1 again we have 9 and then we got 1. So the cycle of 9 is having only two digits which are 9 and 1. I will quickly write this down. The cycle of 9 is having two digits and they are 9 and 1 right so there are two digits and uh, we will solve one example based on cyclicity of 9 in this example the number is 19 and the power is 297 we will do the same thing again we will neglect this one and we will only take 9 having the power 2 raised to power 97 Two digits are there in the cycle so we will divide 297 by 2 and the remainder will be 1 and when remainder is 1 it means 9 will be there at the units place so 9 raised to power 297 will have 9 at the units place and this implies 19 raised to power 297 will also have 9 at the units place 
So this is the normal procedure to find out the digit at the units place. But when you have the condition in which there are only two digits in the cycle, there is no need to find out the remainder. There is no need to divide the power by the number of digits in the cycle because you can see when the power is odd, we have 9. When the power is odd, we have 9 at the units place. And when the power is even, we have 1 at the units place. So you can simply find out the nature of the power, whether it is even or odd. And by that, you can easily find out the digit at the units place. 297 is an odd number. This is an odd number. And when the power is odd, we have 9 at the units place. So you can directly write down the answer. So this is all for the cyclicity of 8 and the cyclicity of 9. Now we will move to the homework problems. I have three homework problems for you. In the first problem, you need to tell me what is the cyclicity, what is the cyclicity of 0. This is the first problem. And in the second problem, you need to find out digit at the unit place of 28 raised to power 9 multiplied by 179 raised to power 99. Use the concepts we have learned in this lecture. You have 8 at the units place and 9 at the units place. Simply try to use the cycle of 8 and cycle of 9. In the third problem, in the third problem, you need to tell me what is the digit at the units place when you have 26 raised to power 26 multiplied with 37 raised to power 37 multiplied with 48 raised to power 48 multiplied with 59 raised to power 59. So these are the three problems. Once you have your answer, post it in comment section. And uh, before ending this lecture, I will generalize the cyclicity of 9. When 9 is at the unit place and whatever is there at the other places, we don't have to worry about them. When 9 is at the unit place and the power is n, then we can have 9 at the unit place or we can have 1 at the unit place. 9 will be there at the unit place when n is odd. And 1 will be there at the unit place when n is even. So you can remember it like this. This is the general form. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. And don't forget to solve the homework problems.